three of us emerge into a clearing. Mr. Androgyny sees us coming and his face gets a million watts sparkle. In a voice that sounds like a grizzly bear growl filtered through rose petals, he says, Forklift, darling, I'm flattered by your presence. To what do I owe this honor, fine sir? I fear my intentions are only of the business nature. Mr. Androgyny groans, Ah, uh, business? Like he was expecting diamonds for a present and got argyle socks instead. Forklift says, Perhaps we could shamalam the ding-dong another time, wink. But at the moment, we're looking for someone. Pity it's not me, Mr. Androgyny says. So, who are you looking for? The music reaches a zenith and Forklift has to lean in to shout, The Minotaur! Oh my god! This must be serious. At most. Know where he lives? He's got a place in Urin Town, over the convenience store on 4th and Birdneck. Shit. Urin Town. I should have guessed as much. I can see them holding baseball bats and iron bars. Another one with what seems to be a roll of barbed wire. Even though he was halfway proven wrong years ago by theoretical physicist John Wenger, Einstein still has a little hold on the theory of relativity. Time travel isn't possible, yet, but we must be approaching the speed of light at that very moment because time slows to a goddamn crawl as I struggle to my feet and watch the high boys careen toward us in a flipbook-style blur of pumping arms and piston legs. I'm in a half-crouch position, arms out, legs bent at the knees, scuttling from one spot to the next, desperately looking for anything to use as a weapon. I look over at Forklift, phased out, eyes focused on the road. Where are we going? I ask quietly, trying not to wake Bingo. Sixty parks his penile protrusion in the Lady Cave over by Johnson Square when he's not going caveman in his apartment. R12 subdiv where the kitty prowls the alleys. Sixty? Yeah, LX. Sixty. Those Roman numeral things? Do I have to explain everything? Do you even have to ask that question? He smiles. Negative, mi compadre. So why are LX and Cat both R12? What did they do? Alex put on a collar for signing Johnny Hancock to a fake check. Forgery? People still do that? Thought he could go old school, sneak one by. And Cat? Pole swinger. Champagne room raid with some extra coin in her purse. Jelly? She went night honey where people could see her? No intelligente. People are brain popped, dude. Crazy cakes. Think just because the board ain't prevalent, their juice is free roam cluck cluck. <sighs> okay, dude, I gotta know. Why? Why what? Why talk like that? Why is everything in code? Don't get me wrong, most of the time I can understand you to some degree because we're usually on familiar territory. But tonight, man, tonight. I feel like I've taken one single Spanish class and you've dropped me in the middle of a car chase in Barcelona without a map and I can't read any of the damn road signs. <laughs>